Now, another thing the Air Force needs to know. What are the effects of atomic blasts on its prime tools, aircraft? So a number of aircraft, some obsolete and some latest models, were placed at various angles to the blast because we must learn how to protect our own fighters and bombers as well as how much damage we can do to the best of the enemy's aircraft. With the test setup completed, we move back and wait through the tense moments while the bomb falls. As it explodes, a hundred high-speed cameras and a thousand instruments record new evidence of the enormous destructiveness of the atom bomb. Later, we come back and study the results in detail, looking for the answers. Have fighters built to stand greater stresses than bombers sustained less damage? Have the ruggedly constructed jet planes fared better than the conventional aircraft? And the answers are here, in some lightly damaged aircraft and in other scorched and twisted wreckage. On the thermal effects program, one project concerned parked aircraft and aircraft components an extension of previous tests. New data were obtained on structural weakening from thermal inputs too low to cause visible damage. Proved to have considerable value in reducing damage to parked aircraft. Some aircraft fabrics were destroyed at levels as low as two calories per square centimeter, while magnesium sheet and foil-covered panels were undamaged by 20 calories. It was also found that strong tie-downs may protect aircraft parked nose-on to the blast from much of the damage that will occur if the plane is unmoored and free to lift and roll. But for side-on or tail-on orientations, the tie-downs may actually increase damage.